Welcome back, everybody, to the His and Hers podcast, episode 28, 29. Oh, God, David. 28th? <laughs> We're going to figure it out. We're going to nail that down. What's up, you guys? Yeah. Happy Monday, yo. I hope you guys are having a great start to your week. We have some really great shit to talk to you guys about today yep. that involves your money and how we can, like... And for the record, um, anything we talk about today is not financial advice no we ain't no financial so advisors please, uh, okay? do your own research for sure, for and sure. do not ever invest anything that you're not willing to lose look you you're what you know like you're, the amount of knowledge that you have is your power yeah. in this situation so but we wanted to extend some of our knowledge to you guys but again we are not financial advisors no, not at, at all. all whatsoever and we're still learning we're still trying to take in as much information as we possibly can so um we just it's something that Nikki and I talk about a lot, especially recently. Oh, yeah. We really got into it. And that's, you know, um, crypto crypto. Let's talk about crypto. Actually, you know, this is even more than even if you're mm -hmm. not interested in investing or learning about crypto, that's cool. But it is there's something to be said, because um, as of recently, a lot of celebrities have been paid out in, in crypto, have been requesting to be paid out in crypto. And I feel mm -hmm. like um, it, it is changing the entire process of being paid and transactions and, you know, monetary value of things. So I wanted to, you know, kind of talk about this with Dave and get our thoughts out there for you guys. You guys make your own decisions for your money. But what I would say, I yeah. think that the best thing for you is to make your money work for you. Period. <laughs> yeah. Um. Absolutely. I got into crypto probably like four years ago. Yeah. <laughs> like four or five ago. years ago I got into it. Yeah. And Bitcoin was like at less than two grand okay so before we get into that can we start out with some of like the main cryptocurrencies for any newbies out there okay so we got yeah. we got bitcoin mm -hmm. okay we have ethereum ethereum we have dogecoin yeah dogecoin we have here actually i could pull some up of the a, biggest ones we're going to be talking to you guys some about the... some of the things that we've invested in as well um so that you guys have some background. So the, some of the biggest ones, you guys hear about it all the time. The big the big one, the huge monster in this is Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. And I actually remember David talking about Bitcoin years ago. Yep. And, um, you know, it's all about following your instincts. You have to, like, you know, learn the process. But I'm sure some of you guys have questions like, what the fuck is Bitcoin? Why is everyone, you know, you know um, going crazy over this? Like, what, what are, okay, so what are the benefits of crypto? Uh, it, I mean, it depends on the on the crypto, obviously, but you know, Bitcoin is kind of, you know, the the grandfather of all the of all the cryptocurrency, and the idea is to have like, um, a a financial institution or a currency that's decentralized where there's no bank right. involved, right? So crypto is meant to be for the people mm -hmm. and to kind of to make purchases without having like your bank know yeah. about everything that you're doing and have complete control now, of your money there, because right now sorry i don't mean to cut you off you go. go ahead no so there are there are just some downsides to bitcoin which is why um and, and a lot of cryptos which is why it's not really used in the like at how we use you know, fiat money or, or paper currency, not yet US dollar, because mm -hmm. the transaction fees are really high, right? Because and the then, banks don't want to go get on board, uh huh. And then the uh, the time it takes for transactions to go through takes a really long time, which they are actually working on right now to like make the yeah. process a lot more smooth. This is definitely like you know uphill. Everything so, is a as a process, but yeah. The, so the pretty whole much point, now, I mean, crypto is pretty much like having digital gold. Yes, it's more of an That's asset a good way to in that it. in that sense, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there, there probably will be a time where there is actual uh, practical uses for them on a daily basis in our lives. But I mean, it's already happening now, yo. Like that's yeah. what we're going to be talking about yeah. here really soon for YouTubers and celebrities to be mm -hmm. asking specifically to be paid out in Bitcoin. Um, for parents to be gifting their children Bitcoin um, instead of, you know, like just regular money or a savings or making them, what is it called? Um, the when, NFTs? 
No, oh. not the NFTs. Like when a child is like when they're a hedge fund babies. Oh, you know, yeah. instead of doing all of that, they are now gifting their children crypto. And I think that that's huge. I think that, um, you know, this might be the future of currency. Mm -hmm. I think that the U.S. dollar is losing its value as time goes on. So we wanted and, and, to kind of give you guys a background on it. And the other thing with crypto, there's no inflation. Nice. Which is why it holds its value a lot better than actual like U.S. like paper currency. So what got you into crypto in the first place? Davi. <laughs> I'm just a technology um junkie man you i mean just, whore. No, I'm whore, just slut <laughs> i i just love it i remember I, I i actually found bitcoin on accident because i was trying to find or buy a, a playstation 3 a long time ago of course you were for cheap right of course you were. and i was like trying to i was like trying to find one to buy for cheap and and like people were, were um selling them but they're like yeah you could you, you know you could pay me in bitcoin oh shit i was like what the fuck is that uh-huh i was like i don't know <laughs> I don't know what that is. Yeah. So I'm like 19, 20 years old at the time. I'm like, I don't, I don't know what the fuck. Wow, that this is. is before you met me. This is a long time ago. This is before you met me. Yes. Oh my god, that hardly ever happened. I know, I know. I've been <laughs> with you like point, most of my life. I feel like me too. <laughs> so, <I've> been, <laughs> so yeah, there was. So I, I, I had known about it, and then I don't know what happened. Maybe I was on Twitter one day. Maybe like. 2017 like early 2017 right oh, shit. Uh -huh. maybe i was on twitter one time and um bitcoin was mentioned on there and i was like i remember bitcoin and like the value of it had gone up yeah a little bit yeah and this like it wasn't even like popping yet so i was like oh fuck so i just like said fuck it and i and i was like how do i buy bitcoin so i got like 250 bucks and i put it into bitcoin and i forgot about it and then like at the end of the year that's when it really blew up and like it really started becoming mainstream. Like everybody started talking about it. Then I was like, wait a minute. I think I bought some Bitcoin. So oh I went God. back and that 250 had become like 600 bucks. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So then I started dabbling with like other Bitcoin or not other Bitcoins, but other like cryptocurrencies. I started dabbling and, and kind of playing around with it. And then I, I made some money on a, uh, on Tron. And then I sold that and then I don't know what happened to it after that. I messed around with other ones that didn't work out. But then Bitcoin crashed. And I was like, yeah, maybe this shit is a scam. <laughs> and I was like, fuck that. So I pulled everything out. And I never messed with And, and, and I knew about Doge, too, then. And it was like point zero 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 zero, You know, yeah, whatever Yeah, a bunch of zeros. And yeah. I was like, that's stupid. Yeah. And I was like, that'll never be anything. Now look at it. For sure. I mean, it's crashing a little bit right now as we speak, but um, <laughs> e even then, I mean, it's still at like 55, 56 cents. Well, you know, OK, so how would you Could explain cryptocurrency now. to like a newbie? Never heard of this before. Like um, to so make to have them understand why it's beneficial to me, to me, the basics that it's tricky because it's not like stocks. Some of the, the like the lingo or the technical jargon that's used is the from terms. the stock markets, but um, <laughs> this is going to sound funny, but really marketing is a huge mm -hmm. aspect when it comes to like a cryptocurrency that you want to get into. Uh, you got to make sure like, man, if they don't have a logo or if the logo's trash or the name's trash, like don't even, but like if you, if it doesn't even look aesthetically pleasing or sound good, don't even fuck with it. Yeah. That's just, that's just the fact of the matter. And then, the other thing that you need to know is there's a, a, a supply, like Bitcoin. What makes Bitcoin so valuable is there's a supply that is finite. There's only 20 million, roughly, Bitcoin total that That's will ever what be. That's was interesting to me. This isn't something that can be replicated. Mm. Or, you can't you know print how, more like, Bitcoin. We, can't, we can print more U.S. dollars. We can't do that with right. Bitcoin. It is what it is. That's however many there are. That's how, however many there yeah. are. And either you get in and on it or you don't. And then keep in <laughs> mind, too, like, I'd have to look it up, but the n amount of Bitcoin that is lost forever. Dude. Because somebody either uh. threw, like, they can't get back into their... Um, their wallet to their wallet or they threw away hard drives that had their shit on it or you know they forgot their passwords yeah it, it, it's an absurd amount of bitcoin that have been lost because of, of just that mm -hmm. so there is that's why the price of bitcoin is so high because 
of the of the the limited supply. Well, okay, then if you guys are interested in this topic, let us know, and then maybe we can talk more about Bitcoin farms. Oh yeah, the, because the mining. It just yeah, like the mining of it yeah. all, because it, it just kind of like that's a whole. Yeah, it's a whole thing. other thing. Um, that's but a huge yeah, there operation, is, man. Yeah, dude. because you're talking about. I don't know. It, but don't talk about it now. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's it's, it's, a, not it's a whole easy. other thing, but it requires so much work and so much like electricity and yeah. so much like oh, it's crazy. Like you gotta get like super. I computers. have been like immersing myself, immersing myself into mm-hmm. this entire topic. So yeah, and that's kind of like the basis of crypto. Now, how does this relate to why are celebrities wanting to be paid out in Bitcoin and shit? I mean, because why would you not want to be paid okay, out in so, crypto? Right. You, you see, like, you, you get paid in crypto. Say you get paid in Bitcoin. You know that shit's going to go up. Like, right. you just let it sit there and it's going to go up. I think that's really smart. Who has, to your knowledge, been paid out in, in crypto? Uh, so, Charlie D'Amelio. Huge. By the way, she follows me on Instagram. She My does. Little best friend. She does, actually. <laughs> I, like, am so honored. So, She's you know, so. But you know what? Okay. No, we stand, we stand Charlie here. You okay? know what? Straight up. Okay, so she is very smart. Mm-hmm. So she's only 17. She's only 17, so she can't, at 18 years Mm -hmm. old, I'm so sorry for my Glamazons that are under 18, you cannot participate in this yet, but you can definitely talk to your parents about it, or do what Charlie D'Amelio did. And and see, now, when you log on to these exchanges and stuff like that, now they do the know your customer, so you have to provide, like, proof of your identity. Your, like, date of birth and And, shit. And when I first bought Bitcoin four years ago, you didn't have to do any of that. Oh, my God. You, You didn't have to fill out shit. You just need an email address. It's crazy because I'm just going to say it because David got into crypto years ago, right? He did not say a motherfucking word to me about it. <laughs> I was just messing around. And then I found out about it. You know, like we just like started kind of talking about it a little bit and it kind of came up and I was like, wait, what? What are you doing? And David was under mm-hmm. the impression that I was going to be upset with him trying this out. And the minute he told me, I was like, why didn't you tell me? And, like, now so, we're just, like, totally partnering in this. But David was, like, on his own with this because he didn't want to share the knowledge. I had no idea. So, I actually, so, yeah, back then, Nikki actually bought, like, 50, I don't know how much you put in. You can maybe put, like, 100 bucks in or something. Into Nikki, which one? Like, Bitcoin. Yeah. Uh, she had a Coinbase account. Yeah. She put, like, 100 bucks into Bitcoin. It was, like, below, I don't know, maybe, like, 30 grand or something like that. The, the, the cost of a Bitcoin at that time. And then she lost the password. I did. I lost the motherfucking password. So she lost a little bit of money that way. But yeah. yeah. So Charlie D'Amelio um, got paid in, in so Bitcoin. Who, with, with Ge- or Gemini sent her, which is a uh, an exchange app. or It's an app or wallet or something like that where you can get Bitcoin. And her father actually tweeted at them that she'd been wanting Bitcoin. Mm. So they sent her some Bitcoin. They didn't say how much, but She's they sent so it to her smart. dad. They sent it to her dad. Of course. So, uh, you know, and there's other, like, if you go on Twitter, like, there's celebrities like Lil Yachty tweeting about Safe Moon, which is another crypto that Huge. I'm. Huge. We are very much invested into in. Safe Moon. Yeah, I, I, I like Safe Moon. So I, I want to share some of the things that we are currently invested in in case you guys are interested in getting into the market. I'm not telling you to invest into these same things. This is just what we have invested in. Um, so, of course, Bitcoin is something that we have invested in already. Mm-hmm. Ethereum is another big dog that we are invested in as well. Um, I went ahead and, and, conve- and invested into Cardano. Um, and another one that really gave me a great return. I, so, you know, we started kind of researching this. David's been researching this for years and years, and I have been kind of getting into this in the last six months. So I, any, you know, extra income, you're not supposed to like, you know, try to invest the money that you need. And like see, this is any extra money, right, yep. that you have uh, to invest. So I got like, you know, a certain amount of money and I was like, all right, I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and try to invest these things into different pockets. Right. So a little bit into Bitcoin, Ethereum, Doge. Right. Mm-hmm. Then I just by chance, I saw Bitcoin cash. Right. Yep. And so on the app that I use, it kind of gives a synopsis of what each crypto is used for. So I read it and it said uh, Bitcoin cash is a fork of Bitcoin. Bitcoin that seeks to add more transaction capacity to the network in order to be useful for everyday
everyday transactions, right? So like that's the biggest downfall of Bitcoin is the processing time that it takes for each transaction. So I was like, dude, Bitcoin Cash could be like, you know. So I invested a little bit and dude, the like fucking return on this already is like double what I invested. Yeah. So, and you know. And, and the reason why Bitcoin is slow is because it has the, the blockchain where there's a certain amount of, it has to be, every transaction has to be pretty much validated and, and approved by like a certain number of, of other pretty much people. It's like a ledger. So every thing, and that's why it takes so long. Yeah. Well, the thing that I like about the idea of crypto is your privacy, right? So mm -hmm. if you decide to send somebody money, if you decide to buy something, your bank doesn't, isn't involved in every piece of your purchase. Also, you know, in the history of time with things that have happened, whether it's in Israel and different parts of the of like different countries, mm -hmm. when things have gotten hard, there have been governments that are like, hey, we have a lot of debt. So we're going to go ahead and drain everybody's bank accounts. You're not going to be able to access your bank and yeah. your money because we're going to go ahead and put that towards our debt. And you have absolutely no say in that. And that's mm -hmm. what's really scary about the way that, like our our bank institution it's our bank institutions as they are right now yeah. um don't provide us as much control over our money like our banks can tell us when we get our money how we get our money the fees that we pay you know how much we can take out at a time and you know a lot of people feel that that's unfair and i completely get it and i i mm -hmm. agree and i just think that this is the new wave it's the new age way of um you know having currency and also i heard a little rumor because you yeah. know we are exploring different planets right now we are exploring you know space and everything like that and apparently you know we're kind of getting low a little comfy with mars mm. so if indeed we are able to kind of move humanity to mars and we have people living in mars the thought is that cryptocurrency bitcoin especially is going to be the main currency on mm -hmm. mars oh yeah on it. mars like this is gonna be it's I, crazy I, I don't know if maybe maybe it'll be bitcoin but any like some sort of crypto it's definitely yeah. not going to be the u.s dollar i tell you uh, that. no no <laughs> and you know I, I laugh because you know people that are kind of skeptical of, of cryptocurrency they'd be like how does it how's how's a bitcoin worth anything like how how's it even it, how does it have value it's imaginary i'm like well what do you think is the money inside your wallet like it's paper it only has value because, because humans give it value because we said that it has value it's like a painting right why is a painting worth so much money mm -hmm. because you have you give it value or you know rookie cards for tom brady's rookie card sold for like two million dollars or some shit shut up are you serious yeah. like why is why is a a, a picture of a, a of a skinny white guy on a little piece of paper <laughs> Why is that worth $2 million? Right. It's not worth $2 million to me. Right. But it is worth $2 million to whoever the fuck bought it. Now, I do want to say, though, um, for anybody that is in crypto or thinking about getting into crypto and you're making a lot of money on crypto, make sure that you research and you understand capital gains taxes, okay? Because I feel like when crypto gets talked about a lot, that part is not talked about quite as often as it should be so please research capital gains taxes that way you do not get in any sort of trouble with your crypto because if you try to avoid paying your taxes they will fucking find you yeah so please for the love of god pay your fucking taxes yep. on it they're gonna find you yep you cannot run from them you cannot hide it just i just, just we gotta pay PSA. our taxes y'all a little <laughs> psa because people don't talk about it enough and, and the same thing like if you trading stocks and shit capital gains taxes crypto is looked at as an asset a, a piece of property so taxes got it <laughs> got it god damn taxes now if you hold your um crypto for like over a year you do get a break in your taxes i believe oh okay yeah so you know hold it's all about educating yourself on how this process works. And it and it does take a minute to, like, kind of get a better understanding of how this works because this mm -hmm. is a whole different currency. We've all been born and raised on the U.S. dollar, and I think that this is definitely the new wave. And I think that 
it's huge that bigger celebrities like Charlie D'Amelio yeah. um, that are receiving this as payment or, you know, they, they want this to, you know, be invested into them. An NFL it's player, huge. Russell Lukung. Oh, really? He got paid half of his contract in, in Bitcoin. Oh, my God. That is so fucking smart. And though. since he... So smart. Ah, man, I'd have to look it up. But the amount of money that that portion of his... Uh, contract is worth now is insane dude he took a bunch of crypto he took a bunch of the bitcoin shit <laughs> so russell Okung converted half of his salary to bitcoin last year after signing with the carolina panthers last season Okung made an unorthodox request he asked for half of his 13 million salary 13 million dollar salary to be converted into bitcoin it's the first time a player has been paid in bitcoin Akung received the Bitcoin payment in December 2020. At the time, Bitcoin's dollar equivalent was worth about $27,000. So at $6.5 million, that's about 240 Bitcoin. In the past three months, the value of Bitcoin has continued to increase and it's proven lucrative for Akung. At the time of this writing, one Bitcoin is worth $57,000. That means the Bitcoin of Akung's salary has already doubled. He's currently got about $13.8 million worth of Bitcoin, plus his $6.5 million in cash for the rest of his salary. My what an God. idiot. My he should have requested the whole salary. No, I mean, I think he's <laughs> just testing it out, yo. No, like. but no, he's, so he's a big advocate. He's been one of the, the bigger advocates for Bitcoin, but crazy, right? Yes. He, Hella crazy. He, he turned that, in, in a matter of months, he turned that $6.5 million into you know 14 almost that's crazy so it it is a very mainstream thing and i mean it, it's it, it is valuable no matter what people say no matter bitcoin's been around for like 10 years it's not a scam it's not going anywhere it has value yeah uh, whether or not it has a practical use i mean that's debatable yeah depends on your definition of practical like if you want to go to starbucks and get something I don't think it's practical because you're going to be waiting, but half hour for your fucking transaction to go through. <laughs> right. So, you, you know, for right now, r- right. For right now. And I don't think Bitcoin, I don't think the technology can be updated for Bitcoin, which is why you have the fork mm-hmm. like Bitcoin cash yep. or any other sort of variant of Bitcoin. And then, you know, they, they have other cryptos now that are out that are trying to kind of plug those holes. Like Decred is one of those where it's like, trying to be bitcoin but focusing on what the weaknesses of bitcoin are Mm -hmm. so and and depends i mean even like for video games they got coins specifically for for gaming wow that you can exchange so it it just depends man man this is the new wave of the future it's a whole crazy ecosystem of, of, of currency and the way you know humans pay for shit yeah and it's different now where but it really does prove that we are in control of what we give value to whether it's the dollar whether it's bitcoin whether it's ethereum this that and the third yeah we as humans we're the ones who give that the value and it it just goes to show marketing's huge social media is huge in this game social media is huge yeah and it's just been popping off so um i think that throughout this journey of you know getting into cryptocurrencies and kind of learning more about you know this world i've had a new appreciation for our money and Mm -hmm. having our Mm -hmm. money work for us in different ways because you know back back in the day we only had a limited amount of um options to grow your money and have your money work for you like even your standard bank has like a Mm. (laughs) 0.001 interest rate like on your money if you choose to open a savings account you get like a few cents each year that that ain't shit for example for example when my mom passed she left ten thousand dollars between my sister and i Mm -hmm. i didn't even know by the way until (laughs) years later so my um so she's left us five thousand dollars and she had my aunt put it into a savings account for my sister and i well from 2002 to 2009 that accrued like 300 dollars in interest oh my god <laughs> like that or you know that's how much interest it 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 made yeah it was like 300 bucks yeah which that's 
Not a lot of it's money. It's not a lot. Over time, it really is For $5,000, it's right. not a lot of money. For, I didn't even know she had it. That's my whole last point. Point. I'm just like, you know, because yeah. my, my aunt was huge on interest and, like, growing your mm. money. But, she, you know, the only options that she could give me and, like, was telling me about was, like, your bank options. And, like, their, their growth rate is so, so small. Yeah. And, yes, it does grow, but not nearly at the rate that cryptocurrency is growing so but, definitely do your research but yeah but also at that same token crypto crashes just as fast but that's the thing you know and it's it's honestly a roller coaster it's very volatile it's a roller coaster if you're not willing to <laughs> um to stomach losing 30 percent in a day yeah because that's where a lot of people panic sell like you're seeing it with those right now because the whole Saturday Night Live shit. Oh shit! It's kind of like fucking Elon Musk Elon on Musk. Saturday so, it, Night Live. Like it's crashing Live. right now, and you got people panicking. Yeah. And I recognize the panic because that was me, like in 2017, 2018. Yes, I know. You know what I mean? Yes, so I know. Now I'm just now I'm laughing because it's so cyclical, and people, there is a pattern. There's a pattern to it, and people are panicking. And if you just hold on to it, you'll be good. David can talk about this for days. Like Man, we have been I don't realize so much. I don't realize how much I know about it until I start talking about it because I look at it all day. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I watch I watch videos. I I I go on Coin Market Cap and I I go through and I and I look at the numbers and look at the charts. And to me, like I try getting into stocks for a minute, right? And they're okay, but they're so. I don't know why crypto is just more exciting to me. Yeah, it's me more too. it's more fast paced. Yeah, and it's so new and fresh, and nobody really knows. No, if anybody's telling you what something's going to be in like three, four, or five years, they're lying because there's no way they can know. No, there's, there's been nothing out there's no way here like this before. There's like no you way. can't apply the same type of stocks and bonds mentality to crypto. Like, they're like, oh, no you way. know, <laughs> if those got to, you know, like years ago, they're like, oh, you know, if those got to a penny, like it would be like certain 40,000 times the actual U.S. economy market cap. I was like, well, now those is at like 60 cents. Now what? <laughs> you know, the fact that you have like an, a genuine interest in this is the why I married you. Oh, you didn't even know that. I know, but... I didn't you know, even know that. <laughs> it's why I married you, David. I didn't even know. I knew that you were going to bring something incredible to the table. Man. And he is so analytical and great with identifying patterns, which is the key to investing in crypto. And I, I've learned that through David. And he was like, babe, if you just like kind of look through the history of time as crypto has been growing, you'll, you'll start noticing little patterns here, including the dips Mm-hmm. And this roller coaster ride when people freak out. And like that's what I'm telling you. It, it can't yeah. be like, don't put your fucking rent money in there. Okay. No, like, don't do that. This has to be something that it's not a you don't get notice rich if quick it's thing. gone. You know, and no, it's not no. a get rich quick no, shit. No, no, no. And it's just one of those things where you have your money work for you. You you put it in there, you don't touch it, and mm-hmm. then you just allow it to grow however the market is going. Yeah, you definitely have to take your emotions out of it. Yeah. Um Definitely don't put anything into it. I wouldn't that you're not willing to lose. Like if you lose it, you're like, don't go out having to, you know, suck dick for money to make that money back up. <laughs> Shut the fuck. <laughs> you know oh my what I mean? god. Like if you lose, like just take money that you would spend to go out to eat or something. Yeah, and just put like it in on there. your you coffee, I mean? like put it in there and, and then let your hold money it grow for a for long you. time. You're not yeah. gonna get rich quick. I mean, people, you know, look how long it took Doge. Mm-hmm. to get to where it's at right it now it is a playing the long game but the money that we're investing into crypto if we're being honest is not for us it's for our kids yeah so we don't really have a problem allowing it to sit there for years decades even yeah. uh, if it means that our kids are going to have something to fall back on like we have multiple different savings and like it's just great to have this option to allow your money to grow for you and I think that it's great that celebrities are hopping on board and saying, hey, give me yeah. half of my contract in Bitcoin. Hey, you know, with Charlie D'Amelio, like, give me some Bitcoin and I'll work with you. And that's huge. That's fucking huge. If you were a professional athlete right now, mm-hmm. would you have your entire contract amount in Bitcoin? Is that what you're saying? I probably wouldn't have done the whole thing, but ah. I would have. But I probably would have done something similar to what Russell Okung did. Yeah, for like sure. half. Yeah, some something like that. I definitely would have done that, or I would have just did it myself. Mm. 
I don't know if I would have had the team pay me in it, but I, Why? I, I don't know. Cause I would I'm just a do it myself kind of guy. <laughs> but if they could do it for you, like shit, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I would just have done it. I would, I would have done it. I know. I mean, I guess they could have just sent it over to me, I guess. Yeah, it's easy. Just in a wallet. Send, yeah, send over some Bitcoin yeah, shit. it wouldn't have mattered to me. But yeah, some, one way or another, I would have gotten half of that contract in Bitcoin. So yeah, I was a little, uh, I was actually surprised you were as interested in it as, as you I think you really you underestimated my open-mindedness to this entire I think topic. I did. I think I did. I was sure. actually kind of pissed. I was like, how yeah. dare you? Like, how dare yeah. you not bring me in on this? I just, um, <laughs> you know, I guess because I was kind of skeptical of it myself. Yeah. You know what I mean? Where I was like. But I'm just the type of person where I'm like, I understand, you know, risk. Mm-hmm. And I understand, like, there is a risk to lose your shit. And, like, yeah. but that's the whole point of I think- expendable income where you're you're not supposed to feel it it's supposed to be that income that's like what you would have spent on your mcdonald's your starbucks yeah. your well, you know whatever that's how the story about my friend dick oh Richard, what happened to your friend dick so he sent me like at back then he sent me like 100 bucks right yeah he's like invest this for me i was like i got you so i put it into this thing dragon chain which was made by disney i think uh-huh i was like there's no way this could fail it did. Shit. <laughs> so I lost. So, Dick, I lost your hundred bucks. I'm sorry. Oh, shit. But he was like, don't worry. I was like, because I had to tell him, I was like, you know that you could lose this. But he got the hundred bucks from like winning some bet or something with a friend. So he's like, yeah, just just do it for me. I was like, oh, you know, fuck. you can lose this. He's like, I don't give a fuck. So I was like, all right. So I put in into Dragon Chain and then that shit just went. <laughs> I was like, my bad. And I, I, but, I, but I feel terrible because I was entrusted and I failed. Yeah. So I think that's part of the um, the hesitance to to get other people involved in it because if you lose money, I'm gonna feel really bad. Well, I felt like you were betraying me, not telling me. <laughs> I just. I, I was like, oh, we keeping sweet kits now? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Got all this Bitcoin. <laughs> shit got almost point zero zero five percent of a bitcoin well <laughs> shit you're my value at 45 dollars at the time dude things are changing so fast now and this isn't just with crypto let's talk about nfts Ooh. the fuck is an nft Ooh, and why is it important i do have to look more into nfts because they seem crazy it's a non fungible, fungible token. token so from what I understand is you create some sort of digital product or something that you want to sell and you can either auction it or set a set price and you get paid in Ethereum, which is a cryptocurrency. Mm-hmm. One of the bigger ones, probably second. Yep. Behind I would say second. Bitcoin, right? Uh-huh. So you get paid in, in Ethereum and you could set the amount of tokens that you, you'll sell for that product or whatever. And then from what I saw, too, you could even set like a, a royalty percentage. So where even if so somebody buys it from you and then if they sell it later on, you get like you can set the percentage like you get like 10 percent of whatever they sell it for. Wow. Then if that person sells it again, then you get royalties from whatever they sell it for. So theoretically, if the sale price keeps going up and up and up, and people keep making more money. You're going to be keep getting paid more and more in royalties. Mm. So. You see, like, a lot of um, artists and stuff like that selling artwork, like, whether it's videos or albums or, you know, shit You know like who that. I saw selling NFTs? Who? Taco Bell. What are they selling? Dude, like they were selling, like, fucking merch. Merch? <laughs> they were selling Taco Bell merch, and it was selling, like, for a shit ton of money. But can, it's because you can sell it's a like, physical product with NFT? No, it's like a digital product, but it was like a Taco Bell themed, like something, something. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. And so it's it's just one of those mm-hmm. things like you can say that you have the only, mm-hmm. you know, type of this, whatever that they're selling. Yeah. And it is really more about like bragging rights. I don't know how it's kind of like buying high end artwork. It seems like. Yes. Paintings it's like or some paintings, shit. like artwork. That's what exactly. it really seems like to me. I don't know how you can stop people from making copies of it, though. 
Well, it's not about that. It's about like because you know you can make copies and you, you get can like a certification. Or yes, something like that? there is a certification mm-hmm. to it, and there's a way to identify whether or not it is actually like legitimate and an actual NFT, the original. Um, and when you have that, it's it's you know in a sense priceless. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I I've actually that. had like some of my Glamazons ask me if I've ever considered selling NFTs, you know, for my shit, and I'm just like, well, I need to yeah, learn more about it. Sell. I I did see that. uh, Remember that David goes to the dentist video? Yes. Where the kid comes out, he's all loopy. Yeah. He's like, is this kid? Yes, this kid. Yes. And uh, I saw that they sold that video for like $11,000 as an NFT. Oh my God. And then, like, the um, leave, the, the girl that. The leave Britney Spears alone video that got sold too. So what if I NFT. just did like? Wait, so could I just record one specific special story time, right? And sell it as an NFT, I guess. and only one, only one person can hear it, or like just like buy it and own it. I guess I don't. Right. I, I guess that's the point. I guess that's the point. You could also set a limit. You could also set a number of how many uh, copies. Wow. So you can say like 100 people can, b- can buy this story time or whatever. That's crazy. And then you can allow them to resell it so they could be making money off of your story time. Oh, my <laughs> God. But you'll be making money off of it, too, because you'll be getting paid royalties. royalties yeah. Well, win win for everybody. You guys, the shit is changing. Definitely, you know, this is the beginning of the week. Take some time. Do some mm-hmm. research on your own. Don't listen to yeah, don't know, take everything. anybody else <sighs> is saying including us yeah because this is your money your investments you need to be in control of that and be very knowledgeable in what you're doing with your money but if it were you know up to us like i would much prefer for your money to work for you and mm. this seems like a great way for that to happen um but like we said it's not like an overnight get rich quick type of thing it yeah. is playing the long game and not Mm -hmm. getting scared when shit dips because it will eventually yeah don't don't buy high and sell low right don't don't do that Mm. (laughs) Mm. do that see people doing that Mm. you you see you see people doing that or you did that um no i don't do that i don't do that i make i made a profit at least Mm. i made a profit okay okay whatever now it wasn't like a huge profit or as big as a a profit as i could have had but it was profit. Okay. I'll have to hold off on buying the Denver Broncos. I'm sorry. That's what you would buy, David? Hell yeah. Do you hear this? One of the more valuable Not, NFL honey, teams. I will buy you an island and a whole <sighs> cruise ship or a yacht and we can live in luxury. If I had the money to buy the Broncos, you don't think we would have that? I would hope that we would get that first. That's not what you're saying. I feel like if you had the total amount, like if we if we like invested and then we grew it and everything and you had the total amount to buy the Denver Broncos. And I said, babe, mm. you have the choice between buying the Denver Broncos okay. and us being comfortable mm-hmm. or more than comfortable our whole life, having our own island, having a yacht, having this, that and the third that you would choose the motherfucking Denver Broncos. That's what you would. That's what you would do. Um. I would choose the island. That way, I don't ever have to watch Drew Locke play quarterback. People are caring about the Super Bowl less and less every year. I would just like to let you know Yeah, that. that's because the Chiefs were in it. So, I'm not going to watch Drew Locke. I'm going to be on an island in Cabo. Not Cabo. <laughs> See, Jeffrey Epstein gave islands a bad rep. For real. It's not like creepy. Now I can't buy an island. Everybody's going to be thinking we're taking kids down there. I can't do it. Have yeah, weird celebrities coming down. No kids and shit. No kids. No kids. No kids. No kids on this fucking island. I don't, I don't even want to. I don't want that out there. <laughs> Can't even buy an island now. Yeah, I know. It's kind of weird. <sighs> well, that is our cryptocurrency talk for this Monday. Y'all definitely yep. do your own research. But yes. if you can and you have the opportunity to get yourself involved, definitely consider it um we're you know we're not financial advisors no, for the a thousand this is not time, financial advice but, do your own research um definitely do your own research but that you know i think it's interesting charlie d'amelio hopping on to this is huge so yeah. um i'm Good here for, for the ride thank you for teaching me everything that i know i'm still doing my own research into this but if yeah. you can get yourself a horse in the race it would be very beneficial not only to you but for generations to come but anyways 
y'all. That is our episode 28 slash 29. We'll have yep. to get back on track with this. But thank y'all so much for chilling with us and, and, you know, allowing us to be a part of your Monday morning routine whenever you are listening to this. We hope you guys have a great and productive week. And if you're not following this channel, please do so. You can find our socials here. You can find us at the His Ex Hers Pod on both Instagram and Twitter. We'll keep you guys updated and also get your feedback on, you know, new episodes and what you guys want us to talk about. Don't forget that we do have conspiracy theory videos once a month, which is usually the first month or the first Monday of every month. Um, and you guys get to help us with the conspiracy videos as well and what we're going to be talking about. But I'm really excited yep. for the future of this podcast. We're going to be talking about all kinds of things. Let us know down in the comments for those of you guys that are on YouTube for the visuals, what you guys would like us to talk about next. We're open to ideas. Um, and then, of course, you can find me on Instagram at Nikki Glamour and you can find me on Twitter at the Nikki Glamour. And you can find David at I'm David Cisneros. And that's on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Yes, I will actually be posting more on TikTok. I Are just you? reached 30,000 yo on TikTok. Oh, I'm so excited. So nice. I think I'm going to really make an effort to yeah. post more over there because I have a lot of fun. And yeah. I think so many people enjoy seeing me over there. And a lot of my Glamazons are almost like rediscovering me. And they're like, oh my God, I haven't wow, seen you in so crazy. long, bitch. Like you like raised me and I missed you. That's so crazy. Yeah, it's super crazy. But anyways, y'all, happy Monday. Yep. And uh, thank you guys for being here. We love y'all very much. And we will see you guys in our next episode um to start your week off right peace out yeah peace.